No, just, I'm sorry, Misha. We we're just doing it abstractly. Women are not paying attention at all to men's appearance. They don't see that. Practically, don't, because they don't have. Uh, they have a different perception. They see the world differently, and that is, these are two different uh, creatures from different parts of nature. The fact that in our world there's such a great difference between the sexes has been uh, fudged and been uh, neutralized. It's it's a flaw. It's a defect. Said so the you mentioned the world of Atsilut. Who is from Atsilut and who is not? Zrampan of the world of Atsilut is uh, the source, the root of man, and, nu and the Nukva of the world of Atsilut is the female. But these are two different parts. The fact that uh, they are in Atsilut, they are found there before they g descend in our world. It's not clear, but it's interesting. A part of Creator in this world is realized in man, uh, of Creator, and part of the creation part in this world is realized in woman. Question from Inessa from Riga. Here's what she asks. If a woman, a soul, was once living in a female body, next life cycle, would it reincarnate as a woman, or it can reincarnate in man, or simpler? What does the woman have to do in order to be born man? Nothing will help, Ruf says. What do you mean? Nothing will help a woman to to be born man. She will be born a woman because it depends on the sort, the type of her soul. If the soul is female, she will continue to reincarnate as a woman unless she realizes her completely and reach her perfect state. The same thing is with the masculine, man soul. In the end, the one who realizes himself correctly or herself correctly, there's no difference in, because in the end there's complementarity, adhesion, and in the end any difference is lost. It's what happens is unification to one integral whole. Why men? Question. Why men are shuddering uh, by the thought, with the thought that he can, that he's gonna be born with woman, and vice versa. Women want to be born, to be born men. Subconsciously, Rob says, in our world, and accordingly. In accordance with the spiritual roots, a man feels himself more free, more independent, and indeed, according to the way society works, is that society is uh, structured based on the natural natural inclinations which are, which are in men and women. To women, the most important thing in this world is the family. They're in a circle, the, the, the nest, and everything that is around it. Besides that, she's not interested in anything else, naturally not in politics, and what is all this far away geography, and, uh, and uh, all kinds of great dreams and aspirations. This is the nature of a woman's soul. You can't uh, get rid of it, and you shouldn't. It's a very necessary quality attribute because, because of it. Thanks to it, the entire development of humanity happens. Thanks to it, there is procreation and generations. Men, thanks to the fact that he is disconnected, detached from all these problems, and he tends to just reach out, to walk outside of that family nest. His uh, quality is quite different. What kind of games, what kind of aspirations and dreams and he will always burst outside. And you can see that, you can observe that from the smallest age with women, with girls and men, boys. But that attribute of man allows this development. But the development re is realized, happens in, man, in, in women, because man doesn't develop himself. But in, in general, when he leaves that circle, he does that subconsciously to return with, with goodies, with... Uh, with uh, and to uh, to earn appraisal, appreciation in the eyes of uh, women. It doesn't matter what the age we are living and what problems we have in this world. Connected to what you just said, I have a thought. 
Uh, it's very quite a uh, famous fact in literature that uh, woman uh, builds the career of man. She pushes her in this world and builds her. Maybe she's not pushing her in the right direction, him in the right direction, but what he achieves, he does that in order to find approval in her eyes. And therefore, it uh, so works. The, uh, behind each, uh, each successful man stands a woman, a, a, a wife that just gave rise to that all, originated it all. Further question. As far as I understand, as far as I understand, you're successful. You're winners, right? We believe ourselves to be such. <laughs> Men are stronger, women are weaker. What do you mean stronger? Women are more uh, endu greater endurance perseverance and uh, men have great physical energy. F women have great uh, capacity to survive and patience is part of that and uh, to, to uh, damp damp damping the stress, uh, cushioning all negative impacts. It's an amazing organism and just this attitude to all precisely because she's, she's enclosed within and can live without feeling anything outside. Most importantly that within, in her circle, everything would just uh, work uh, under its influence and, and control. And then everything is fine and man just different. Just basically because he's too uh, responsive to this environment and connected to it, that's why he's much more, uh, much less balanced and uh, stable, but although he has force and, the fo and this force of endurance, uh, the ability to withstand and ability to f adjust is much less in him than in the woman, and that's been done by nature intentionally so that they could uh, complement one another. You're saying that women are stronger, they're physically, physically stronger. Uh, like hit him one time, make like a punch, and to continue that a year, woman is stronger. And just see what what they what in which conditions they they live. A man who leaves a woman, well, he might continue his career, but once he's not in family, uh, he's not. He's not in the right place. He's not in really comfortable. He's not. Although in our world you can surround yourself with uh, machines and uh, semi-finished goods and all kind of uh, washing dryers and so forth, it has a spiritual root, right? That woman is much more patient. It goes from. It all comes from the spiritual roots. It's. It's. Re of course, Rav says everything spreads and stems from the spiritual root. Uh, in our world, the, crea the man is uh, the creator's Im image and the woman is the creature's image. The white woman br give birth. But it's a reverse image, a reverse symbol that has to correct itself and become a uh, rich uh, adhesion and equivalence. Why does a woman give birth in our world? Has, have, has children, he, uh, she procreates, that means that she crea creates a next, uh, more perfect continuation of herself. Uh, she's copying herself, seemingly, and that uh, as a, cons a consequence of the creation. The creation is the crea the woman is like creation, and the man is like the creator, and therefore she creates, procreates. It's their own image, which can more improved image, and to create something from scratch, it can be done by the creator alone. No, the creator is generates th new things in creation, and uh, all kinds of transformation until it reaches complete perfection. Ah, so it turns out the creator is like man in the upper worlds, and creation is like a woman. Now, but then, creator is uh, making the role of a man in the spiritual world. Then, creation gives birth, procreates. Creator doesn't have to procreate at all because he's perfection. Creation procreates because he procreates, creates from itself, from it better copies of itself, improved images of itself, uh, seemingly raises the de raising the degrees. I'm, I'm one person today, another person tomorrow. If I'm con 
continuously improving, I'm procreating myself. I'm creating my next mu a better image. So now, well, the man 